Welcome to Retro Crisis. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install a new PlayStation 1 emulator for your iPhone and iPad. This new emulator is called Gamma. So firstly, open up your Apple App Store and go to the search box. Type in Gamma, that's G-A-M-M-A, -M -M -A, emulator. And then that's the one you want, it's the one with the black and red icon. And then go to Get. And then once it's downloaded, click on open. And then you'll see the terms and conditions pop up. Just press continue. Gamma wants to track your activity. I just generally click ask app not to track. Now, before we continue, I'm going to assume that you already have some PlayStation 1 games downloaded on your iPad. And before you ask, no, I'm not going to tell you where to get them from. You have to source those yourself. So to add some games, click on the red plus icon. I'm going to go to files on device on my iPad, and on my iPad I've already made a folder called ROMs, so I'm just going to tap that, and I've got Crash Bandicoot in this folder here. And you'll notice one grey file and one white file. I'm going to click on the white file because that's a compatible one, and then I'm going to click on open. And there we go, it's instantly scanned and detected the game, and it's also downloaded the box art automatically. And if you want to play it, just click on the game. One of the annoying things about this emulator is there are ads. To skip an ad, I'm just going to press this fast forward button up here, and then when the X appears, just click that. And there we go, you'll notice the game begins loading, and you can also see the touchscreen controls appear on the screen. So just to prove they definitely work, here we go, I'll just test some, so there's jump, this one should be spin, left and right, and there we go, as you can tell it's working. Now, let's exit the game, so I'm just going to press the menu button at the top here, and here you can see save state, load state, and fast forward. Now, to get out of the game, I'm going to press on main menu. Now let's take a quick look at some of the options by clicking this option button in the top left corner, and here we can see we have Gamma version 1. Input type is currently set to touchscreen, but if we tap that, you'll notice that it gives you the option to use a control pad. So if you have a Bluetooth controller paired with your iPad, you can select it here. And another useful thing is if you do want to use the touchscreen controls here, you can decide how transparent you want them to be. So currently it's very transparent because it's at 70%, but if you want them to appear fully visible, you just slide it down. And then once you've decided on your settings, just press done. And that's pretty much it. That's how you use Gamma to play PlayStation 1 games on your iPad or iPhone.